We don't have to guess at the meaning of the dream, do we? Daniel tells us here, the Lord reveals it to Daniel, and, and he records it for us, verses uh, 34 and 35. This magnificent statue of different kinds of metals represents four successive kingdoms, each one less glorious than the one before. And then hurtling in out of nowhere, a rock uh, cut, but not by human hands, smashes into the bottom of the statue and uh, uh, blows it to smithereens. And then it itself grows and grows and becomes a mountain that fills the whole earth. And we find out in verse 44 and 45 that this little rock represents the kingdom of God. It starts very small, but it grows and it, it, it fills the whole earth like a mountain. It's, it's like Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 13 about the kingdom of God being like a mustard seed, the smallest seed, but it grows to become a huge tree in which the birds of the air perch, or, or it's like a, a yeast, a little bit of yeast which works through the whole There's batch of dough. There's a real tie-up there it with grows. the teaching of Jesus. That's, That's right. right. 